All right, hey Cancer, so I am doing your guys' ghosted read. You're going to know this is your read by your energy and how you feel about this person. So if that does not resonate, please check your other placements. And if you're new, a welcome. You guys, I do hope that you'll subscribe if you like my vibe. And um, I'm going to be doing Sam Hain reads tomorrow. And that's going to give you a peek into the next um, year or so from this Sam Hain to the next one. All right. And that's going to be more centered around you. Okay. So your energy. Let's see what is going on with you, Cancer. How are you feeling? What's happening? That card has come out on every single, I swear, it just seems like it's just popping out. All right. So your current energy is probably feeling a little bit low or less than uh, your normal vibration, right? So heartache, heartbreak, loss, just kind of feeling um, a little bit worn down when it comes to your, your energy, how you're feeling, what, what the day... The, it's like from one day to the next. I just want to come out of this. I want to, it's the page of pentacles coming through. It is kind of heartbreaking to me to see this card because it's almost like you're kind of taking blame for whatever has transpired. So this is a ghosted read. They ghosted you. All right. But you shouldn't think that you've done anything wrong or that it's you or it's anything that you need to change. Okay. This is learning from failure, learning from a uh, lack of progress. Um, and I almost feel that this page of pentacles is showing up because you feel like you've done something wrong. Um, and one thing that I've come to um, notice when it comes to this, uh, the ghosting dynamic is people tend to run away from things, um, unhealed versions of themselves. Um, so if you're showing um, essences of healing in, in some areas, um, it's like you're being a reflector of this person, showing them what they still have left to repair inside of them. Um, the Eight of Wands is wanting that desired communication, whether it's closure or a reconciliation. I just feel like you do desire um, communication from this person. All right, so let's see how you feel about them. How do you feel about this person? So um, how you feel about them is is uh, pretty much um, the Nine of Swords coming through. So you could look at this person as somebody who does have a lot of pains. A lot of burdens that they carry um, they're probably dealing with a lot right now when it comes to their life um, and I just kind of feel like um, this is everything that's going on um, and, and I feel like it's all stuff that does not include you with the Hierophant card coming through though it could be that you look at this connection as a spiritual connection all right one that is um, one that you're meant to um, um, embark on with this person um, but it could be too that you look at this person as they're either dealing with a lot or they have maybe more options. Maybe, maybe that's where you're kind of feeling in that low energy. Like maybe I'm just an option to this person or one of the many that this person, um, gets to have. All right. But I don't feel like it's, we can't look at it like that, even though we do look at it like that sometimes, um, with the nine of swords, I just kind of feel like this is the energy that they've put you in, um, uh, you know, more so than what you're actually seeing, but it could be too, that you see that this person does have a lot of healing that needs to take place before you guys can, um, really share anything moving forward, especially if you are on a spiritual journey, right? Um, but I feel maybe being like treated like an option, feeling like an option or just being one of the many options that this person has. Okay. Um, we are going to see why this person ghosted, but first let's see who we're talking about. Who are we talking about here for cancer? Who is this? So you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with, uh, Aries, Pisces, Gemini. And we have um, Leo and Cancer. All right. Oh, and we have um, Capricorn. So there's a lot. Leo, Cancer, Gemini, um, Aries, Pisces, and Capricorn. All right. So those are the signs coming through here. Um, for who this person is, all right, um, what I'm going to say is uh, they could actually have some options, man. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of court cards showing up here and it could be that this person doesn't know what they want. They're not ready to settle. They're not ready to pick on, on just one thing, one person. All right. It's almost like this person doesn't know how to actually enjoy the emotions of love. So if you're trying to give this person love, they have their heart space closed off. It could be that they're coming through this Knight of Wands energy because they are not ready to settle down. They're not ready to settle down. And it could be because of somebody that has treated them bad. It could be that they've had a negative experience with somebody. It could be too that they actually have somebody that they're dealing with 
or taking care of. It does not have to be romantic. It could be familial just as well. So don't go thinking the worst of the worst, please. Okay. Um, and the reason why I say that you guys is because, you know, I could have, you know, um, 50 people or 20 people or even 10 people watching this and you know all 10 people could be dealing with somebody that that is vibing the same but each one of those energies could be dual, dealing with something different so don't jump to conclusions and think that this person's married or that they're you know um, I'll say what I feel when we get to the ghosted part but this person does have a lot going on I can see that um, and I almost feel like they could just not be ready to settle um, it could be that they're being a player. It could just be they're not they're not ready to settle. It could be that they're dealing with um, family issues and troubles. I want to see how they feel about you first. How they feel about you. So, with the ten of coins, I feel like they, you guys could be seeing ten ten a lot. Okay, we have the four of wands. Um, this person's afraid that if they, it's almost like if they commit their energy, they're afraid it's going to go south. All right. Um, this person is carrying a lot. They look at you as somebody who carries a lot of weight, um, and probably has, has been able to transform and transmute negative energy. Um, they see you as somebody who actually um, pushes through and perseveres. All right. So you, they, if you guys have shared and exchanged stories, this person, I, I almost, I, I don't know, humanitarian keeps on coming to mind. Even though the star card isn't here, I just feel like this person looks at you. They look up to you, all right? Um, I feel like they can see um, enjoyment with you, a future with you, a solid, stable, and sound future with you. They actually look at you as somebody who is marriage material. Um, uh, you know, even if they're not treating the dynamic as such right now, you you, you just, you know, um, how you got to have faith. You have to have faith. All right, so let's see what their situation is. Why did they ghost you? Why have they ghosted you? Fear. They have fears. They want to take it very, very slow. So if you guys were rushing into anything, um, they definitely want to take it slow. And that's what the Knight of Pentacles is representing. So if you guys had just met and, um, you know, it seemed like it was moving fast. This person is coming through as somebody who is, is a perfectionist in some senses, but they are used to hard work. Um, conservatism routine. Um, you know what I mean? They like, they like the routine. Um, I almost feel when I seen the King and Queen up here, you guys, I almost felt like this person is taking care of family. Um, they could have a, an ailing, um, parental figures that they are actually taking care of. That's ex immediately what I was drawn to when I seen these, I didn't feel like it was this person's energy. And that's kind of why I'm like, don't jump to conclusions. I almost feel like this person's taking care of some parental figures. Maybe they had to move in with parents. Maybe they have um, a less than ideal situation that they're dealing with right now where they don't feel like they can take on um, an actual relationship. But what I do want to tell you is that they only think about you. All right. So they're very much single. They are single, um, but this nine of wands says that they're not ready to let you into their world yet. And I feel like it's because they're, they're going through their own emotions. They're going through their own situation. And I do feel like it's very much independent of you. Okay. I just feel like they have a lot on their plate and they're not ready to let anyone in to see the full scale of their life because it's probably not the ideal life that they want to be living right now. All right. Um, with the nine of pentacles, I feel like they, they're just probably knowing that they, they, potentially have let a good thing go. So they're kind of recognizing that they should have dealt with the situation better than, um, you know, allowing the energy to just kind of fade away without saying anything or just, you know, fully on ghosting. It's like this person, they can't get you out of their head though. It's almost like they're kind of saying, but where are you going to fit at in my picture right now? You know what I mean? So let's just see if they're coming back. Let's see if they're coming back to you. Ace of Wands. There we go. We got all sorts of aces. Look at their, they are coming back. And when they do, they're going to actually have their guards that are lowered. All right. This is kind of giving into the dynamic of the connection and kind of flowing with everything. Look at that. The opportunity coming back around. You can do with it what you want because we do have free will. So you don't have to take this person back. You don't have to accept their excuses, um, which I, I don't feel like it's an excuse that they're going to come back with. I feel that they're just going to tell you what they're, what they're kind of going through. So I'm just going to see what their intentions are. If it's going to bring you guys any closer. Oh, look at that. There's that star card. <laughs> 
their intentions are to to bring on fulfillment all right to release any any doubts or worries um any type of feeling uh strung along energy any drama anything that they're de they're dealing with i feel like they're gonna they're gonna come and tell you um you know why it why they pulled why they pulled away but it wasn't under the intention of stringing you along all right with the page of cups i feel like this is all about communication it's that date it's that offering um and this is you know um balancing out where they probably made you feel like they just more so embody emotional immaturity right um but they are coming forward and i feel like uh whatever resolution you want with this dynamic it's going to come through with that star card um i just feel like your wishes are going to be fulfilled in this dynamic it's a 30-day intention read so you just need to keep your head space clear and your heart space open to receive this if that's what you desire so let's see what your focus should be on in the next 30 days where should you keep your head at what energy you should focus on just moving forward um asking for guidance when you need to ask for it from god or your spirit guides however you believe um, but you need to have understanding and patience right now. That's what spirit's saying to you. Just have some understanding and patience and things are going to come back around and where they didn't move forward before they are going to move forward now. So just for the time being, focus on yourself, focus on um, healing, self-care, self-love, um, focus on making yourself happy and doing what you can do to, to push yourself forward in a light that you feel the best in. Okay. Whether it's focusing on money, uh, projects, you know, um, anything, anything that, um, is going to help motivate you, um, to be a, a better version of you just for now, just focus on you. I feel like that's what the, the King of Pentacles is saying. Focus on what makes you feel good and do what, what's going to make you happy for right now. Um, but everything will push forward. All right. Just have some understanding and patience while this is all kind of taking place. I feel like whoever it is you're dealing with, they're not a, they're not a shady mofo. They're not, they're just having a hard time right now. All right. So let's see what initials come through and this could be yours or this person's first, middle or last. We have B, O, A, M, K, Y, and W. All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. You guys, I do hope that you'll have a beautiful and fun and safe weekend. It's Halloween weekend. Um, you guys comment if you resonate with this and take care for now.